But let's talk about watching the ball and why it's so important to watch the ball and how we get our kids to watch the ball. First of all, in my mind, watching the ball is the most important aspect to batting. If you're not watching the ball 100%, you're either guessing or you're hoping to hit the ball. So it's really important that we are encouraging and reminding our kids constantly to watch the ball all the way from the hand to the point of contact. Even the first class cricketers, professionals out there find themselves sometimes out of form just simply because they're not watching the ball. And they start to look for technical problems and, and, and things that are going wrong elsewhere when actually it's got nothing to do with their technique, but it's just that they've stopped watching the ball. And the minute they come back to watching the ball 100%, they find things start to click again and they find themselves back in form. There are a couple of things that we have to get right though first before we're able to watch the ball 100%. And the first thing is your eyes need to be level. If your eyes are not level and they're at an angle, you're obviously not going to be watching the ball, be able to watch the ball 100%. Your head needs to be still and you need to be balanced. Okay, if your head's moving up and down, Clearly, you're not giving yourself a 100% chance to watch the ball. How do we get balanced and how do we get a still head? It all starts with a stable base. And that's why we started with a, with a basic fundamentals course. So it's really important that you go through that course, go and have a look at it. Show it. There's some really good lessons on, on balance and stable base and all those little fundamental things that you need to get right in order to get all the technical aspects of batting and bowling and fielding right and in this case obviously watching the ball because we need to be balanced and we need to start from a stable base so really important that we focus on that we focus on eyes level head still starting with a stable base we've got some really nice games for you to to teach your kids how to watch the ball and focus on actually watching the ball all the way into their hands um, a really nice game where you're going to be throwing a ball and they're going to be moving so that they're learning to move and keep their heads still while they're moving and balanced to the point of contact. It also helps them with their timing. It's a really good game for timing, but most importantly for watching the ball all the way to the point of contact or into their hands in, in this particular game. Um, just on that aspect, timing comes from watching the ball. If we're not watching the ball again, we're guessing. And often we find our kids are playing, especially in the beginning stages, they, they're trying to hit the ball and they're hitting the ball too far away from their bodies. They're hitting it out there. It's simply because they're actually not watching the ball all the way. The minute they start watching it, you find that they have a little bit more time. They play the ball a lot later. Their timing is much better. And then their power is better and their accuracy becomes better. So all comes back to watching the ball the most important aspect of batting. And if, if you can teach your kids to watch the ball, you're giving them the best chance to develop into the best batsman that they can be. So enjoy those lessons and we'll see you inside there.